Welcome to the finale of Mega Man 2. Oh yeah. It's like I said, it's a pretty short game because Mega Man 4 was five parts. So, you know, it's funny you mentioned Mega Man 4 because Smash Ultimate actually did kind of do some history. We by, talked about it. <laughs> by having Jun Sanoi do yeah, we talked about Mega it. Man 4. I know you talked about it, but I wasn't there. Way ahead of you. Maybe you should have been there. Ooh, I, I, I would have if I could have. But it's, anyway, it's a, it's stealing Wiley's uh, VHS recorder. Incidentally, <laughs> since I mentioned Smash Ultimate, the reason I couldn't make it was because I was moderating a game night for Smash Ultimate. Good old mm. SSMB tourneys and all that. Well, might as well ask in this case, because you need some more fitting drama. Do you have experience playing as Mega Man in that game? And in case, how is it? He's actually pretty good to play as it. And fun fact, actually, he even does a little thing from the NES games. Like, you know how when you try and move just a tiny bit, he moves his foot out? Like, you know, he doesn't yeah. fully move it, but it just slides across the floor. They actually replicated that in Smash. Like, Yeah, they tried to... It, th he's based off his Meg NES counterpart, which I un understand, but I kind of wish that he would emote more. <laughs> I guess that's the point. Uh, he's still like a robot, so not thinking what? too much. No. Yeah, but like, look at Mega Man 8. I <laughs> mean, uh, oh. Which is what his yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom incarnation was based off of. Yeah. Oh, Mega Man 8, Mega Man 8. I actually don't hate that game like a lot of people do, but. Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. The visuals and music I don't is know, great, but. I don't know how much of a hot take it is, but I prefer a lot more bass over Proto Man. Hit me. Okay. So. Cool. Oh, <laughs> base is a better character than Proto Man. Really? You have, yeah. You you guys actually like base better than Proto Man. You're like some. Yeah. Few, you're like some Sorry, you, are... you, you know you know me. I love me some angst. So. Oh oh oh, oh no, no no trust me. I don't mind. It's just you guys are some of the rarest fans I've ever seen who prefer base over Proto Man. Because usually it's Proto Man who the folks love. Like I like Proto Man, especially during the comics, but it's like. It he's, also, it's yeah. most there. It's most of that in yeah in the games he's just kind of there. Yeah, his yeah his theme tune is nice. Even his but fighting style is kind of lame. He's he's a glass cannon. And it's like and uh, he jumps around. Ah, uh, seizure. Well, I'll tell you if it helps you in the spin-off arcade games that I recorded. Um, uh, he has more angst in his ending. So if that helps, <laughs> if, if that hel if that helps you. And oh 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 oh, and Tia, if you love angst, you'll love Proto Man in the comics. Like holy cow! I also saw the Ruby Spears cartoon where um, where Proto Man is an outright villain who's dick. So with, uh, here's the reason for that. It's because when the time the cartoon came out, uh, Mega Man Five was out, and he was supposed he was marketed as the main antagonist. So that's why the show kept it listed uh, like that. Even though that clearly was not a the fake case. Out to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's like it was it was supposed to like oh look, Mega Man five. So I guess they didn't beat it at the at the time when the show was production. But it's like if you watch that original sales pitch for that show, you'll you will know that we were robbed. Pretty like, much. What, yeah. Like what the hell happened? It's it's Wait a one minute. of the many cases of getting the advertised Ruby Spears cartoon something. Oh, okay. Oh, and speaking of pitch pitches, like initial concepts, there were some leaked concepts oh. for Fully Charged before the show was unveiled. Like, one that was like, oh, look, it looks 2D. And I was like, yeah, oh, this looks interesting. But it's like, no, that was just a test reel. And then oh, the... And then the one from 2017, where you see Mega Man go, Mega Nice Me. Oh. It's Mega Time, and everyone was like, oh, oh, oh this is oh. gonna be bad. Oh, yeah, it was. Dude, it ended with 8 bit Mega Man sliding off the logo screen and, and having a deaf sound. It's like, oh. <laughs> which, is, which, which is absolutely baffling to me because um, the, spri the sprite uh, moments, uh, the, like the sprite based moments in. Oh, hey, uh, guts, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> you got guts, kid. Yeah. Okay, go on, Pedro. 
and I made quick work with him with the quick work. Which is interesting because the sprite based uh, sec uh, uh, sequences in um, in fully charged uh, look 16 bit rather than 8 bit. You'd think it'd be 8 bit, considering this trying to channel classic Mega Man, but no. I uh, I'll just say this Mega Man fully charged was definitely not Man of Action's strong suit. <laughs> Sure oh, hope, if the, if, assuming that Sonic show is real and wasn't somebody trying to hack into Netflix's account to pull an elaborate prank on us. <laughs> you know, that... that they... oh, well, the, net, well the, tw the official Twitter account for Netflix did tweet about it. They removed the tweet a few minutes later. But, yeah. but uh, so it, it does seem legit. Okay, okay, okay. To be fair, Man of Action have given us good stuff like the Big Hero 6 cartoon, Generator Rex, Ben 10, Ben 10... Uh, uh, sequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alien Let's Force say is the good. the Ben 10 sequels. So yeah, okay, Man Alien of Action... Alien Force is good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it was good. Like, Man of Action are not devoid of good stuff, it's just... Man! Fully oh, charged was just... Terrible. Wow! Like, okay, fully charged is one of the things that is bad enough to wipe away a lot of goodwill you've made over time because nothing about fully charged makes sense. Like, I just, I just okay. don't understand why is it so hard to make a series based on Mega Man. Just t just t use Astro Boy as your main inspiration. There, you're gold. Like, seriously, it's not that hard. Just make a story about robot humanity. Seriously. Uh, Dorkly has better skits, uh, you, know, you know what fully charged is based off of? The Dreamwave uh, comic. Never heard, of Never heard of that. It's ba it was basically a comic made by Dreamwave Studio, so a comic book company that got shut down. Um, that they also made Transformers as well. It was basically Mega Man goes to school. Let's so uh, cool. let's so uh, wait a minute. So basically, what you're telling me, Deji, is that the Mega Man fully charged comic is a comic book based on a TV show that was based on a comic. No, 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 no. It's not like an adaptation, but they took elements from it, and it really shows. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, Dad, would you what, would you say better or worse than the Mega Mix of the Brazilian comics? Uh, from what I've seen, it's better than the Brazilian comic. And you already yeah. know how I feel about Mega Mix, so I'm not going to say anything. Wait, 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 <laughs> That's wait, 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 that. wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no. Actually, I don't recall you telling me how you we, feel. We about talked the about Mega the next four. Well, okay, the extra commentary has been a while, so give me a refresh. Yeah, back in April. A lot has well, happened, I, okay, I wasn't there, was there that can you actually give me a refresh? Uh, Thank you. It, it exists. I don't really like it. Mega Mix is a comic <laughs> like, that I, has... Okay, Mega it, Mix... It goes... Uh, it's <laughs> basically everyone I see for... Uh, so in case you're wondering why I kept getting hit, it's because I forgot which button was to activate the weapon <laughs> for a quick second. And I was like, um, wait a minute, what's wrong? But basically, it was... It's kind of weird. I understand why people like it, but it feels like... This doesn't feel like an accurate adaptation of Mega Man. Like how IDW Sonic mm -hmm. is to basically. Sonic or... Or uh, the Mega Man, the Archie stuff. Game. Archie Mega Man was based off Mega Man. This one just fell. Oh look! What if we made it an anime? Even though it's a, even though it's a Japanese part, but it's it wasn't oh, what anime. I liked. Would you say it's as kooky as the Mega Man Pachinko game? No, 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 no. It's very shonen, but I again I just didn't like it. Also, Wily's entire motive, like his He's yeah, it was the enough. best. Yeah, because he was trying to kill humanity. Which mm -hmm. is wow. not a wily thing. Okay, now to be fair, the games aren't always that consistent with Wily either. I would say that a good basis to take from Wily is the Archie comic. Wily is essentially a guy who was wronged in a lot of ways, but took it the wrong way. Dr. White is not entirely innocent, especially as Mega Man 11 show, but... Oh uh, boy, is... it's this boss! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. joy! The, that's what the foreshadowing was. Either you are conserved enough of, of a crash bomber, or you're fucked. Basically. Because you have to use every single drop. And now, you have to make it count. Now, imagine playing this game back in the old day, and you probably may have used the crash bomber. If you used a single crash bomber before this sequence, it's back to the it would back then it would have been back to the beginning of a stage with you. 
Yep. That, that or just stay and I have 12 lives, so imagine if I had died. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like I said, Mega Man 2 is a very remarkable game, but it does still have a lot of trappings from the games of it. The NES days, and... That's why I don't consider it... One thing, I know people don't like 7 much, but I am grateful that every really? level in that game... People yeah, I don't know seven. why. I think it's because one, the Parental Floss song, and two, it came out after Mega Man X, so it's like, oh, it's oh. not doing anything revolutionary. I honestly always thought, weird. I always thought that Mega Man Seven was actually a huge crowd pleaser. Like, well, I mean, I think there's okay. I won't. No, 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 you know what, actually, I will say it. I feel like Mega, Mega Man 7, until, you know, 9 and 10, did feel like where the series, in a lot of ways, peaked. <laughs> God, so, this, this, this is bad. Oh, my God. If I cut this out, that's a funny thing. Okay, <laughs> just rewind. It's like you never failed. Nope. <clears throat> Alright. But, uh, yeah, um... But no one can blame me for cheating. Actually, da actually, Danger, what can you, what were you saying about what the thing that you appreciate from Seven? Uh, I I appreciate that every Wily stage is a is a stage so you can go back and buy items to refill on energy tanks or something. Oh, true. And it's oh, not yeah, a gauntlet. Honestly, the the shop edition for the later games actually was a quite a lot problem that I actually appreciate a lot. Mhm. Mm but it's like, the Wily stages were breathers, they weren't a gauntlet, which is like, thank god. Cause so, your weapon energy can reset. Also, I'll be quite honest, I feel like, I think, Seven may have had the best idea for an art style that was able to stay relatively consistent. I yeah. think Eight to perfectly too. That's how high boss rush. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Remind me that, have you actually seen any episodes of Fully Charged? Nope. Okay, I got I to I get around. I, I actually saw, I actually re watch reviews of the comic and I'm like, I can tell you, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you care about spoilers because the fully charged one is, uh, well. I know! I know everything! No, he knows. Oh, okay. Mega Man! Or Nega Mega, the, the not Nama Proto Man, who is Mega Man. Namaja, Nama, Namaja, yeah. get it? It's Mega Man backwards. We're so clever. Right? Also, uh, that Al, Al, that Wily kid. Yeah, that's actually Doctor Wily's grandson or gra uh, uncle. Oh, so the comics How finally solved, uh, finally addressed that elephant, yeah. then don't they? Yeah, good job of your show yes. to not do it. Which elephant? The elephant in the room that the, uh, the, the kid named Wily that doesn't uh, barely resembles the actual Wily from from Mega Man because they're related, and it turns out that Mega Man and Namajin were weapons made f uh, against for the, the Great War. war. You know, uh, you know, I, I I think my favorite bit is Namajin going, "Look at me, I'm a monster," and all he really is is just Mega Man but with a scar. <laughs> Oh no! What a terrible fate! Also, Dr. Wily is up to... Uh, Mega Man is stupid because... Hey, Dr. Light, can you tell me about what happened? No. Oh, All don't right, even I'll get me go, started. I'll just go ask that Professor Wily guy. And then Wily is like, Huh, okay. I'll tell you. I do believe that the robots do ooh, need a, um, a ruler, though. And they should take off, take over humanity. But I think you should be the one to take over. It's like Don this man is clearly evil. They're not even hiding it. Also, Doctor <laughs> Wily transforms into an alien. Oh, oh uh, boy, the eighties were weird. But yeah, don't even get me started. Like most of the show uh, is Doctor Light's fault. Like seriously, if Doctor Light thought I'd actually use his brain and address things better. Um, oh, he said he was that to, to get raped. <laughs> also, they don't even really explain stuff like, okay, you would think that Dr. Light does know who Mega Man really is because, you know... Oh, yeah, it turns out he it. did. He just, yeah. he, so he why just is... like... Didn't bother telling him just so we could have uh, that stupid uh Yeah, and it turns out that when he made Mega Man, he even equipped him with the armor and whatnot. 
Yeah. So, so it's like, yeah, he knew the whole time. He, he, it really would have just saved us a lot of time if he knew from the get-go. Which, you know, he does. They, you know, they, they, they were trying to do the Ben 10 thing with Grandpa Max find it, knowing about the Omnitrix and having the plot twist that he's a plumber. Which, yeah, was another Man of Action show. The difference is like, well, there it made sense. Here, yes. it doesn't. Jesus Christ, the seizure warning. But, uh-oh, it turns Why out it was he? all just a super secret, super special effect extravaganza. It was a hologram that just fired lasers. I don't know, I don't want to know what you're doing on your Friday nights, Wiley, you know? He's trying to move the, he's, he's just moving the joysticks because he's trying to make it work. And he realizes, yeah, he's alone, screwed. Though, Wiley? <laughs> Get used to that pose. Yeah. And now it's over. Here we see our lonesome hero walk yeah. roaming the earth as the seasons pass. I don't get these either. Yeah, I don't get it okay. either. It's stupid. <laughs> For as much as this game is love, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. The ending makes no goddamn sense. So Mega Man confronts Dr. Wily at last, and then he just walks away. Please. I guess he just didn't have the rope with him. Yep. No, no, no. This is when Wily he apologizes for his actions, and then Doctor Light he and Doctor Light make peace, and then they go out and build eight more Robot Masters and Gamma, and that totally doesn't lead into anything bad at all. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, what are you looking at? The uh. sky. But yes, but yeah, seriously, no joke, the Mega Man Pachinko game is kind of insane. Like, for starters, they turned Dr. Light into a sexy a anime woman. woman. I, I guess they heard all the fuck Dr. Light jokes, but they, I don't think that's what everyone meant. They thought they <laughs> meant it literal. Oh my god. And that's Mega Man 2. Alright, the final thoughts, I guess. So. Um, uh, Tio, oh. you go first. Might as well. Um, yeah, like I said, that is everything that a sequel should be, so fine by me. It still it still is a product of its time and it shows uh, the quality of life improvement given by the legacy collection are useful, but uh, otherwise it still has some fundamental flaws tied to its origin. Play this one just if you're curious, but uh, um, I think that I probably will suggest us in the future play these games in the order they were released, uh, so you have an easier time, basically. Mm -hmm. That's it. Next. Pedro. Uh, uh, basically what Teo said, really. Um, I love the music, um, and yeah, it's a big step up in pretty much everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, that's basically it. Jova. Yeah, um, I like this game. It is not without its flaws and trappings of the time it was made, and that ending still is very out there. Look, but, it's you know, still better than fours, okay? Oh <laughs> God, fours! I know that. Although, would you say it's better or worse than the time when Mega Man was apparently gonna kill Doctor Wily? Worse. Okay then. Uh, but yeah, good game all around. Great music, phenomenal level design, for the most part, anyway. And a marvelous step up, and again, the game that literally saved Mega Man. If it weren't for this game, we might not have gotten Mega Man Battle Network, Star Force, Legends, the works, you name it. Mm hmm So, kudos. Alright, Dad, close us out. <clears throat> This is a very good game, and it's and what I call the perfect sequel. It improved upon the foundation that was established within the first game, and just made everything better and more tolerable for the most part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I love the music. I love the aesthetic. It's not my favorite Mega Man game. I don't even. I, I'm not even sure if I consider it to be in the top five, but it's a game that I can replay the most because of how short it is. There's not enough pattern. It just gets straight to the point, which I understand why it's still considered to be the fan favorite of uh, within the fan base. 
I would say that uh, there's still some glaring issues that, like, oof, like the Crash Bomber her stage boss fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And honestly, I'm the. I, it feels interesting that the Robot Master fights are shorter, which makes the rematches a lot more tolerable. But still, eh, I can I can live without it. Mm-hmm. And the, I, the item one and t item one two, ooh, it's they just exist for the most part. But yeah, uh, it's Mega Man Two. Recommend it to anyone who's played it, even though I'm sure people have played it thousands of times already. <laughs> <laughs> and I am glad that Capcom expanded upon it. I'll expand upon the ideas they had for future games, but I just wish that they wouldn't overly rely on it that much. Because when during development of Eleven, they're like, "Oh yeah, Mega Man's walking animation—it's meant to replicate the simplicity of Mega Man 2. It's like, "Eh, you sure it have just made comes it?" Always back to two. Yeah, it's kind—it's of, kind of like the Pokemon Gen One issue. Generally. Yeah, where you know, oh, yeah. you know, I go. Yeah, it's a gener it's a game so iconic that in some ways the series, well, the classic series, has yet to escape its shadow. Yeah. Even though Maybe there are Mega better Man's games well. in the classic series. Hmm. And yeah, here's hoping Mega Man Twelve comes out soon. Although according to that Capcom leak, maybe not. S. Because they are yep. making a new game. We just don't know what it is. Yeah, Should probably X9. All I know I is know. that it's not Star Force 4. <laughs> no one cares. Uh, I made myself sad. I Enjoy your change. Battle Network collection that's most likely coming out this year. Because it's gonna, this is going to be uploaded in 2021. Because it's the 20th anniversary of Battle Network. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Right. Uh, just All like right. it'll be the 20th anniversary of Ace Attorney. See you next time, folks. See ya. Right. Toodles.